that other lot. Tell me if somebody pops on. Okay. Hello, hello, everybody. It's Wednesday Wonder Day. Wonder what I'm up to next. James is here. Sandy's here. Hello, James. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Laura. <laughs> I'm just doing a little rose water under my eyes. Been out in the wind all day. I just got out of the shower. If you can see how dry my skin is. Gonna fix that. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. So, can you go move the mouse for a minute? Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Sherry. Um. Those of you who don't know, when you use rose water, I should leave it on just a little bit longer. Just two quick sprays on your uh, cotton balls. And if you leave them there for 15 minutes, it gets rid of the puffiness. They were quite a bit puffier. Um, if I left them longer, it would help even more. Uh, so, my name is Ginger, and I am a yellow status presenter for Unique. And the products that I use today are my products by Unique and can be found on my website at www. Dot glam, myglamclan.com Thank you, Sandy, for sharing. Um, everybody, if you share my video, I would appreciate it because it helps me out a great deal. Hello, Tracy Peekaboo. Um, how is the lighting look, everybody? Do I need more light? Oh, my skin is so red. I just got out of the shower, so it's red, it's dry. But I'm going to put my products on and it's going to make it all moist and nourished. Take the redness out. Hello, Mork. Then we'll start with my uh, shine cloths. They're in the royalty line. And what this does is removes any impurities. Uh, it puts nourish, nourish, ugh, nourishes your skin moisturizes your skin it has all kinds of nutrients like uh, aloe jojoba sunflower uh, vitamin E rosemary all kinds of good ingredients uh, you can if you look at it on my site you'll it'll show a complete list of ingredients so hi Sarah good to see you so I'm just gonna even though I just got out of the shower I want to start off with a very clean palette to work with. So, I'm just going to go over it with the Shine Cloth. And also, it will take away some of this dryness. It has been really windy here today. And me and wind do not mix at all. It chaps my skin, as you can see. Is the lighting yeah, nah? I have my yellow nails on still. I've reached my yellow status for those of you that didn't um, see. I'm really excited about that because it means for me a permanent pay raise and I can never go below yellow status no matter what. So it's very exciting to me. Now even though I just got out of the shower, you see that dirt that's still on there a little bit? So, that's the impurities that are still it, stuck in your pores. It's hard for me to tell how the lighting is. Uh, but that's the impurities that are still in your pores, even after cleaning in a shower. So, these are really fantastic. And right now, they're on back order. But I had placed an order last week. And when I place an order, I order shine wipes. And so, I just got a new bag in. For those of you girls that are waiting, I'm sorry. But I do have a full one, plus the ones I got. Now I'm going to go uh, use my, uh, well, I can't think, my ro rose water toning spritz. Hello, Shondale. I'm just going to do quick two quick sprays. Maybe. <laughs> and this is just going to add some more moisture. It's also a toner, so it will tone and kind of shrink the pores a little bit. Mm -hmm. I got my stuff laid out so I'd be prepared, and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. Go me. 
instant lifting serum. Okay, so next I'm going to use this instant lifting serum around my eyes. And I'm going to do, whoa, my frown line. You don't need that much. I just kind of squirted it too hard. But I can't never get enough, so I'll be okay. And I've been putting it around my mouth, right on the edges. So I'll have extra for that. So today I am doing Wonder Eyes and... I have a, a cheat picture to go by of what I've, I'm envisioning in my head. And I'm hoping it's going to be as beautiful as I think. And it's going to be uh, some purple and shimmery blue and this color called angelic, which is a whitish shimmery color. So we're going to play around and see if I can make it happen. Shares. And those of y'all in my VIP group, I will be going live Friday in the VIP group because that's when I'm going to be doing my, I guess I should tell you what I'm doing first. This is the Touch Glorious Face Primer. I'm just going to put that on before I put my makeup on. You just need a small amount. It's clear. And it's going to fill in your lines and pores and just make a really smooth surface to start off with with your makeup. And as I was saying, um, I'm going to do my live Friday in my VIP group because, as I said before, we're not allowed to do giveaways and stuff like that on our Facebook pages. We have to have a closed private group that is invitation only. So... Those of you that normally watch the videos or the lives, you'll need to be in that VIP group. And if I do not have you in the VIP group yet, and you would like to be in the VIP group, just send me a message and I'll get you added. <laughs> Straw mark. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hello, Shell. Oh, hold on. I got something for my brother, you guys. I gotta get it. Oh, Boom! <laughs> okay, I'm back. No. How you like them, Mark? You like apples? How do you like them apples? <laughs> so, with the primer, you're supposed to let it sit for five minutes. I'm gonna let it sit for just like two or three, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start with my makeup. But as you let it sit, that's when it does its magic. And I was hoping my foundation and foundation brush and contouring uh, sculpting trio came in today. But it didn't make it, so kind of bummed. But maybe I'll have it for tomorrow. Yeah, sure, Mark. <laughs> Whatever. You know I got you, man. I got you. Okay, just fess up. I got you. Anybody don't know what the circle game is, you have to do a circle, but it has to be below the waist. So, I, I just got my brother. And he knows I did. Right? Right. Ha. Huh. So, this is some little gadget I bought. I call it a thingamajig because I don't know the name of it. It's supposed to replace the makeup sponge. That way, your makeup, your uh, product all goes on your face instead of into the sponge and you lose half your product when you're trying to put your makeup on, which we don't like wasting our makeup. And this is the BB Cream BB Flawless Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the color Bisque because that's what matches my skin. If you want to be color matched for moisturizer or foundation and you're not sure which color to select, Send me a message and um, I'll get you to take a no makeup selfie just between me and you and I'll help you get matched to the right shade, the right tint. It's a silicone beauty blender. Thank you, Renee. What she said. <laughs> Love you, Renee. <laughs> so it does get all the product onto your face. But for me, it doesn't blend 
as well as I like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread it. And then I'm going to dab with my sponge to get it all in good. But I really would not prefer or recommend using it just by itself. Some people may know how to use them better than me. I don't know. Hi, Janet. I do not like this lighting because my skin is not as red as it's looking. Uh, Y'all see, it's light? getting lighter because I'm putting my BB cream on. What? Uh, Turn that light on. Yeah. That that one right there. And go ahead and move the mouse while you're at it, please. I'm trying to keep a picture up that I'm aiming to use as a tool tonight. Yeah, it's not very bright, but does that help the lighting? Yeah, that does, I think. It's that time of day. Uh, would you do me one more favor and close that blind off? I think there's light coming in. I'm good. Janet, how are you doing? Kids are out for spring break this week, so I took the day off to just go run around with them. Almost went to jail at Walmart. But I'm here, so I'm not in jail. I was buying some electronic items, and I went to the self-checkout, and the lady that watched... You know, they have somebody watching over the self-checkout. Well, I asked her for help because I told her I was in a hurry. I had to be somewhere in a certain time. And could she please help me get the, make sure they were demagnetized and stuff so I wouldn't be stopped at the door. Well, of course, I was close to the door and that door guy heard me say that. And when I went to leave, he caught me right when I was facing out the door and said, I'm going to need to see your receipt. I was like, okay, here's my receipt, but I know you just heard me say I was in a hurry and didn't want to be delayed at the door. So then he says, well, I need to search your bags. Now, this man watched me check out. He watched the lady come over there and help me check out and bag my items. But he wanted to search my bags, but he wasn't searching my bags. He just grabbed them and was just standing there holding them at his side. So after asking him twice to look through them so I could go and him just standing there, I grabbed my bag back, poured everything out into the buggy and said, here, search. And he still wouldn't. So I said, well, just give me my receipt and I'm going to go. You can call the police or whatever you have to do. And he snatched it back. And when he did, he like slapped my hand backwards, which don't touch me. <laughs> whatever you do, don't touch me. So uh, I went and got a manager and I told him I was fixing to just refund everything. I said, you just lost $150 worth of sales. Anyway, I didn't go to jail. I'm here. Aren't y'all glad? You get to see my beautiful face. Yeah, I know, Mark, but he, like, got physical with me. He, he slapped. When he grabbed my receipt back out of my hand so I could not leave and yell no at me, he, like, slapped my hand. And you don't do that. They're not allowed to uh, physically confront a customer anyway, but Dale was like, Dale got off work early to go up there to Walmart, but I won't go up there with him because he doesn't need to go to jail. Okay, so long story short, here I am and I'm putting my makeup on and he's not going to run my day. Will you go move the mouse? Alrighty. Y'all see it's not all dry and red like it was. I'm going to attempt these eyes. Yeah, I intend on calling corporate Mark. Because it, it was, he totally 100% did that because he heard me say I needed to go and could you make sure these didn't go off so I wouldn't be stopped at the door. Oh, Renee, the door guy harassed me at Walmart like in a major way and ended up hitting my hand and don't touch me, you know, don't touch me. So, um, I kept my cool. I was very loud and boisterous, and the manager even asked me to come on over to the side and talk, and I told him no. I wanted all the customers to know what was going on. But um, the manager finally told me I could just go. 
and that guy was just trying to, I guess, show his authority or whatever. But come on, you're a, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but he's a door guy. He's not a security guard. And I know they're not supposed to approach people. But I made it out of there, and I'm good. So the eye I'm going to do is got, like I said, it's got the purple and the blue. And I'm going to go at first, and this is not the right brush probably. I'm trying to do my live. I'm going to go first with the purple, and I'm going to go in the crease line and right in the corner. I think. And I am using Addiction Shadow Palette 5 in the color Fearless. This color right here. And these colors are really pigmented. It doesn't take a lot. Just make sure I have the right brush. I might need a thicker one. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a thicker one. I don't want too thick. That one should work. Now that one wasn't doing right. Oh, I gotta go all the way across the crease with this. Let me move my mirror, y'all. My apologies. Renee, did you get your barbecue sauce? What? She snowed in, and she needs barbecue sauce. <laughs> Can somebody please send the lady some barbecue sauce? How are they supposed to get to her? She's snowing in. That's, that's a rough way. Okay, so that's just in the crease and kind of a V-shape in the corner. Let's see if I can make this happen. I hope I'm uh, not getting out of the camera too far. You guys sure are quiet in the comments today. Sure enough. Y'all asleep? No. Nope. I'm not putting an eyeball on my lid. If you want an eyeball on the lid, you come over here and I'll do one on yours. So, yeah, Friday's going to be uh, St. Patty's Day special in my VIP room. Going to have some goodies to share. And that's where I'm going to do my live. Penguin. Penguin can get it to you. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know any penguins that deliver offhand. So, sorry, Renee. You're not bat dad. Will you give me a washcloth, okay. please? Yes. I might need a little bit darker. I always start off light because you can always go darker, but if you get too dark, it's harder to go lighter. I am looking across the room at my computer trying to pull this off because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a normal everyday person who loves makeup. Which ginger? That ginger. The one that's drawing on her face. Mmm. I went to Sonic. Um, they have a new Dr. Pepper, everybody, if you haven't tried it. It's called the what? Dr. Pepper? Renegade. Renegade. Good. It's pretty good. It kind of tastes like uh, Mr. Pibb, though. Hi, Tammy. I don't know what that tastes like. Never tried Mr. Pibb. It tastes like that Dr. Pepper for Renegade. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> So, let me find my other brush. I am missing. I uh, don't know if that will work, but we'll try. I think I might just use this brush again. <laughs> We're going to try the other brush. So, I don't okay. have my blues in that I want yet for this look. Will you go move the mouse again, please? I, I just... She's my gopher. Gopher, gopher. Go for it. Go, go for it. So, I'm just using now my... This is the only thing I'm not using today that's not unique, but... Um, LA colors. I'm gonna put this color here, and it doesn't even have a list of what the colors are called. So, 
it's a blue I'm putting on my on the inside I don't know if that'll be bright enough oh if it's not I will try something else I tried it on my hand earlier and it worked we'll see we shall see I think the problem is these um this product here is not as pigmented as the Addiction Shadow Palette. So, or probably any of the colors I have. For you shush. That, hey. No, that Dr. Pepper is good. I don't usually drink Dr. Pepper, but ew, and that eyeshadow is making a mess on my face, too. It's crumbly. This is why you use Unique, guys. That's right. My Unique doesn't do that. So this is what I've got so far. I think I need to go a little higher with the purple in a minute. And then I'm going to have to do a transition color. Soda is good for the soul, Uncle Mark. Have to look over at my picture again. Make sure I'm not, like, totally botching it. Everybody is so quiet today. It's yeah. scaring me. Y'all plotting behind my back or what? Oh, I know. You're going to throw me a surprise party. Got it. I didn't know about it. You're not doing very good at acting natural, if that's the case. Come on. No. No eyeballs on the lids. Further. The lids? No, no. No eyeballs on the lids. No. Trying to make them match. I know they're sisters, not twins, but got to get them close. Sisters, not twins. Little eyeball on the lid. If you will come over here, I will put an eyeball on your lid. Promise. Okay. Now I need to do a transition color. I think I had picked out. This is in the Moodstruck Addiction Shadow Palette 3. And I think I had chose the color Determined because it's more of a neutral color. And that's just going to be a transition to go from the purple to what I'm going to do under my brow line. Do, 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 do. Now I need my angled brush. I would do it myself. I, I would do that's it. not my angled brush. Uncle Mark with the mustache. That's too big. Oh, lordy. That one's too small. We're just going to stay with the same brush because I can't find my brush that I'm wanting to use. And this is just going to go right over, kind of layered over the top of the purple and above it. Oh, my goodness. I don't wear mustaches. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Autocorrect hates you as much as it hates me, Uncle Dale. <laughs> what it is autocorrect say? I am missing stuff. Put an eyeball on lunchbox is loud. Like, can you like and tone to... tone down like two tones because you're right in my ear. Thank you. Come again. So see, I'm just kind of doing a, a lighter color, but not the lightest that I'm going to do under my brow to transition them. So it's not just dark purple and then a bright color. Autocorrect turns the word lid into loud twice. Wow. Yeah, not even once, twice. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Now I'm going to take the purple up just a little bit higher. Move the mouse, please. Goodness, I'm going to do that with a small brush because I don't want to go much higher at all. And again, that's the color Fearless, and it's in the Shadow Palette 5. Now I'll probably put too much pigment because that blue was so not pigmented. This is going to be a lot of color, but if it comes out like I want it to, it's going to be really pretty.
Um, I'm not sure. I'm just kind of bringing a little tail out from the corner. I did the corner in a V and now I'm just kind of finishing it out into a tail. This eye's not wanting to cooperate with me. I should do it first sometime. And now we're gonna bring it down right under the lashes. Or that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. Hey, what with the Batman faces again, Uncle Dale? Whoever put the hearts, thank you. There were thumbs, and then there oh, were, um... I thought I saw hearts. No, there was something that looked kind of like a heart. But hey, don't was... rain on my parade. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> some I hearts. see Come things. On. I see things. Give some hearts. Okay, if you say so. I've got to learn how to do my eyes faster on the bottom. You're just like, <laughs> you need to get off my feed. You're just aggravating. That's all you're doing. <laughs> I probably should have done a little rose water on my brush first. Because when I put the rose water on, it seems like it's a lot easier to put on for me. So this is what it looks like so far. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Is this prosperous? Yeah, oh no, passionate. Passionate. I'm gonna go over it with this eyeliner in the color passionate and see if that helps brighten it up some. So, who wants to hear a joke? That's about the same color, so I think it'll work. Anybody? Sure, what's your joke? Yes. Okay, guys, where do, where do pencils like to vacation? Oh, Lord, not that one. Anyone but that one. Come on, guys, guess. Don't, 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 don't let her uh, Let's go. Let's have some guesses. Act like you don't hear her. So I've got the color Passionate, which is a purple, under my eyelids, uh, bottom lashes. Can you go move my mouse again, please? Pennsylvania. <laughs> so funny. Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. you're just a commodian. Yes. Will you? I just, um, wait until right after I jump. And then I can't see now. What you think? What color did I say I was going to use on the top? You said, oh, uh, the brilliant. Yes. I'm going to use the brilliant. <laughs> what a brilliant idea. I'm so much funnier than she is. So funny. I'm so Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so this is the from the Addiction Shadow Palette 5. And all the way to this side, I'm gonna use the color Brilliant to highlight under my brows. Hi Christina.
Does anybody else have any bad jokes to tell? <laughs> We like the bad jokes here. I like this colors too. Ah, I think I need a lighter color there. We're gonna go with it though since I already have it on. Come on, I know my uncles have to have bad jokes like that. I'm waiting for my powder pigments to come in, y'all. I've only got two right now. I've got several coming. And that's what I really want. Let's see if this color smitten, how that will do. But, uh, I may have to change it, y'all. Bear with me. No one can tell what. Now this is in the palette three. She said, he said none I can tell on here. I'm gonna try this color smitten in the corners just to see. I hope it's light enough. Yes, I do too. I like all the fun colors, but, um, and I didn't think I would like three, and when I got them in, I fell in love with all the shimmer colors in it. So I'm just going to go right in the inside corner here and lighten it up a little bit. Maybe. Let's see if that's meant to work to do that. Do and you're just going around like your tear duct on the outside in the corner. That might be too dark. I'm gonna have to go back over it. Because you want a really whiter color there, light. Hmm. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going back to the brilliant. And that's in palette five. I think it's a little bit lighter. It's more of a silvery color. And I just want it to pop right there. So I think I need the more shimmery. And those of you that shared my video, I really appreciate it. It helps me out a great deal. And you see how that kind of lightens up the corners? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I need to... Where is that brush I had while go? Dang. Oh. I'm going to do just go up with just a little more more purple. The fearless. There we go. That's a little better. Because I want it more. I want more of a corner like to come out. And when you do that, you want to make sure you don't go past your eyebrow line. I guess you can, but I don't. It's all in your preference. Oh, how's your signal today, Krista? Anglet, what? Probably not English. My first language it's is It's probably gibberish. ginger. I have my own language. Mm. So this is a color pigment shadow in the color. Uh, what was it? I corrupted. Forget. Corrupted. It's a really dark color. It's like a black charcoal-y color. And I'm going to take my angled brush. And I'm just going to put a square of water, rose water on it. This is really powdery, so the first time you ever open it, don't just jerk it open because then it's going to fly everywhere. What in the world are you talking about? 
And I'm just going to go oh. use this to line my eyes on my waterline. And I'm not even going to rub it across. I'm just going to dab it. Please pl press okay. 1 for English. I cracked the code. I don't know about this brush. <laughs> Oh, no. Am I choppy to everybody? Because no. I'm not choppy on here, but the hubs is saying it's choppy on his phone. I, I was asking if, if my feet is getting choppy, Carissa. I'm out of Dr. Pepper. So again, I'm not gonna rub across actually this goes on easier than eyeliner you see that nope not choppy it must be your phone because you just have to all I'm doing is just touching down on my waterline and it's going on so for me I say it's easier to apply than eyeliner And this is my first time using the pigment on my waterline, so. So, uh, didn't I, didn't I ask for jokes? I mean. Nobody I know, wants to give you a joke. I know somebody has a joke. And now I'm going to use this and I'm going to do in the corner and just kind of bring that out too. And blend that in. Okay. Same on this eye. Just bring that out to the corner. And then run it down where my tail is. Well, I'm sitting on my tail, but what do y'all think? How's that looking? A little bit more pow over here. I'm all about to pow. Oh, can you move the mouse one more time, please? Okay. Blend this in. I'll tell you what, that other eyeshadow that wasn't my unique eyeshadow just made little droplets all over my face. This is why you only use unique. Little blue droplets everywhere. I'm going to have to go touch up with my, with my BB cream in a minute. How are they looking, you guys? I ain't got my mascara on yet, but... Okay, what did he, what did the Mexican firefighter name his twin sons? What did he name them? All? Hello, Lucinda. And now I'm gonna spray one more spray of rose water because I think I let my brush get dry. And I'm gonna go over the top line, just like I did the water line, because the picture I'm looking at has that. So that's what I'm gonna do before I do my. I'm going to have to hold my eye closed because my eye likes to jump. Tell me what. <laughs> huh? Jose and Jose B. <laughs> what? What did the Mexican firefighter uh, name his twin sons? Jose and Jose B. Did she win a prize? Now I'm just going right on the top. Ask him what your prize is. What? Ask him what your prize is. For what? For guessing. I didn't guess. Oh, well, it's I thought you said told you. No, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. Never mind. <laughs> I'm lost in that conversation. I'll have to Same. go back. Same. It's my conversation. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could see with my right eye better. Oops. <laughs> and drop the... the <laughs> was my finger... <laughs> I 
Was my finger up? I guess I was saluting the guy at Walmart. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know why I was holding it like that. To do you, Drew? Don't know. Don't know. Okay. Unconsciously, you want to lift somebody off. I guess. I didn't put my day moisturizing cream on. Oh. So now my fun part. 3D fiber oh lashes. Oh, my Lord. Falls in your tube. Girl's best friend. This is the gel. This is the fibers. We're going to put the gel on, and then we're going to transplant the fibers onto our eyelashes. So first, we're going to do the gel. This is my favorite product. I guess you can tell because I just get all excited when it's time to put it on. Get to my mirror. Okay, first, look at my eyelashes without it. I got a lot of makeup on, so you probably can't even see my eyelashes right now. But that's fixing to change. Oh, Carissa. Is it your battery or your uh, internet? Hmm? Okay, I need y'all's help while I'm doing this in deciding on my lips. Because I don't have any purple lipstick, but I can do eyeshadow on my lips. Maybe do like an ombre effect with the purple and the blue. Ooh, yes. And then gloss it over. Or I can just put on like some dark red lip stain. So, what do y'all think on my lips? Ombre or stain? I think the ombre might be kind of fun, but... Ombre would be cool. What do y'all think it would look like? Like, would that <laughs> maybe be okay, or... You said what do you want on my lips, or you said me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He went there. Okay, so this is the fibers. So I'm just lightly rolling it across my hand to just kind of make sure the fibers are on the applicator good before I go to my eyes. And on my eyelashes, I am going halfway out midway out you don't want to go all the way to the roots of your eyelashes because these are actual fibers going on to your eyelashes and they might irritate your eyes if they're too close so you don't want to do that i don't know if i'm close enough where y'all can see these going on oh my gosh he, <laughs> he said what i'm an ombre um heather is messaging me but i can't get to your message right now. I don't know if you're on my feed, too. Guys, if you are, I saw your message, and I'll read it when I get done. We, we asked a question. We, we were expecting an answer. Ombre is an effect that I do with my lipstick. Okay. Okay. Got it. Good. Men. Nobody votes. I say ombre. So now I'm going to go to the other eye jail. Should we do maybe hearts and smiley faces instead? Maybe they don't like to type. Who wants to see purple blue ombre lips do hearts? Who wants to see the lip stain, maybe like a dark <laughs> red color, do smiley faces. Oh, Ginger, stop. I am putting on mascara. Okay, whatever, dozer. Get <laughs> off my feed, man. You got something else you can do. Hearts for ombre, smiley faces for red lip stain, which I don't know how it would look with the purple and the blue. The only thing that I've got so but if far, that's what y'all want, that's what I'll do. I'm getting ombre. All there are hearts. Okay. Ombre. 
Now to the fibers on the other eye. Halfway out, midway out, midway out. Fiber, you're not paying attention. You're supposed to stay right there. Switching hands here. I don't know if I'm close enough where you can see the fibers going on, but I'm sure you can see it's building up my eyelashes, making them longer and thicker. And that's what I'm wanting. And what did I get on my eye right here? So tonight, since it's bold, I'm going to do the bottom lashes. But I'm not going to go crazy with the fibers down there. But I feel like I need to make these lashes down here pop too because I've got so much color going on. No, I'm not going to poke my eye out with that. This isn't the Christmas, sto Christmas story. I didn't say poke, I said put. Oh my goodness, hush. Just leave me alone. Dude. Oh, too bad. Your phone died. Mark's left to harass me all by himself. You just lost your partner in crime. Look at them eyes. Look at them lashes. Look at the pow. I really like that on the bottom. I lost track. Jail. Jail. Okay, I got, I didn't do gel over there yet. Now I gotta do the fibers on the side. Huh? Not jail. Jail. Not jail. Jail. <laughs> jail. <laughs> Not jail. 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 My husband is like so Texan. He says tar for tower. He says, tire for tire. <laughs> One time we were at a hotel by Six Flags, and he it was nighttime, and he goes, wow, look at that big old tire over there. And I kept, I swear to God, I wasn't being mean. I was looking for a tire. <laughs> I kept saying, I don't see it. I don't see it. And he's like, that tire right there, that big old tire. I was like, what big old tire? <laughs> he was talking about the Superman Tower. <laughs> The ride. And I thought he was talking about a big old truck tire or something. That tire right over there. You see that tire? And y'all think I have a twin? Shoot. Uh, what Shoot. Else, what else did we figure out that he says the same? There was another thing. Oh, he says a lot of stuff the same. Tires. It ain't my fault you don't understand English. And them eyes popping, or these eyes popping. And I gotta still put some more gel. Now, now that I have the fibers transplanted, and I'll give them a minute to sit, I'm gonna put one last layer of gel over the fibers to seal them in place. Okay, kitty, stay away. Can I take your turn? Stop. The cat just pulled my brush. Hmm? Nothing. These are going to be some big eyes. Wonder eyes. Wonder eyes Wednesday. And I'm getting mascara all over. I guess that's why some people do their mask their eyes first and then they do their foundation because I'm getting it all over me. Yeah, I'm gelling like a felon. Now he's gonna make fun of me saying gelling instead of gelling. That's that's too complicated to say gelling. 
Just say Jillian. Okay, now I need to touch up with my BB cream. Okay, I'm going to attempt the purple, and if I don't like it, I'm going to take it off, and I'll do the lip stain. But first, let's do the lip exfoliator. Yay! Sugar scrub for the lips. Welcome back, Carissa. Is that the stuff you try to eat? Yes, I, I would eat it if I could. It tastes so delicious. Mm. Are these eyes popping or are these eyes popping? Look at that. Did the bottom too. What do y'all think? What about them eyes? Oh, yay, Carissa. So, I was taking a poll while ago. And I'm going to attempt to use my shadow palette to do my lips. Because I don't have any purple lipstick. So... And I'm going to do the purple and blue and an ombre effect. That's, that's my goal. And if it doesn't work, I'll just wipe it off and do the uh, lip stain. No, I'm going to pop in. Mary's popping. No, popping. Popping eyes. Popping. My eyes are popping. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? I really do like that. Mary is popping. Of course, if I had my blue eye pigment powder, it would look even better right here. It depends on which version of Mary popping. Hello, Sandy. I just finished my eyes. And now I'm going to attempt to do something I normally wouldn't do. Well, I say that. I've used the eyeshadows on my lips before. So really, I can't say that I wouldn't. So I feel like the first thing I should do is maybe get my lips moist. Thank you, Sandy. And this is my red velvet cake bonbon. No, this is my strawberry cheesecake bonbon. And I'm not going to rub it because I don't want to get that color on there. It, it doesn't have a lot of color. This is basically lip balm with a little bit of tint to it. But I don't want any color to go against what I'm fixing to attempt. So, wish me luck. Let's see which brush I want to use. And I'm just going to spray with the rose water. The toning spritz. The multi-use everything spritz. And I'm going to, again with the Addiction Shadow Palette 5. In the color Fearless to match my eyes. Whoa. That's actually working really well. Uh -huh. I think I need a different brush though. Hang on. Hi Shelby! I'm going to attempt a purple blue ombre on my lips if y'all are just tuning in. This brush is a little bit thick, but we'll go with it. See what happens. It's going to be dark. I don't know if that's going to be too dark or not. Maybe you should add some pink to it. It's really shiny. <laughs> you 
It's not getting in that part good. Or it doesn't look like getting in my mirror. Y'all think too dark? I haven't done the blue yet. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm going to do the blue in the middle for the ombre. Maybe. This. I think it's too dark. What do y'all think? For me, for my skin tone and my face, I think it's too dark. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm -mm. I don't want that. Maybe if I lighten it up a little bit with something. Which one is this? Uh, sentimental. I'm gonna try to lighten it up a little bit with the splash liquid sentimental. If that don't work, I'm just gonna touch it up. You're the one told me purple. What do y'all think? Should I try the red? Thumbs up if I need to take that off and do the red. I think it's too dark. Yeah, that's purple. Thumbs up for red. I think I'm going to take off. Yeah, it doesn't look purple on the camera like it does in my mirror. Some what do you think? Take it off or leave it on? Mm -hmm. Take it off or leave it on? Me? Yeah. Um, probably take it off. It's, it's just it's just too dark. I think I heard. There's nothing. Else. If you go dark or bold on your eyes, you should do softer on your lips. And if you do softer on your eyes, you should go bolder on your lips. <laughs> I think it's what I heard. I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. The hubby's looking at my eyes. So, this is the Stiff Upper Lip Lip Balm. Lip stain. Sorry, I had balm while ago. What color is that one? Sultry. This is sultry. I haven't used this one before. Diet Coke. And with the lip stain... You don't want to press hard. You just want to kind of lightly go across. <coughs> it's a really thin liquid. So I got that purple on my teeth. How, do you, how do you always do that? I don't know. And how are you okay with just wiping them This lip stain will stay, like, stay on. It's smudge proof, kiss proof, drink proof. And you just kind of paint it on with a little sponge applicator. And then you're going to let it dry. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going all the way to the outside of my top lip. That's my Coca-Cola. To give it a little volume. And them lip stains are really good for that. You see how I got more of a fuller upper lip? I normally don't have an upper lip, hardly at all. So that was one, one use of the applicator with just a little bit on it. Like I said, you don't want to dip and brush and like get a whole bunch on there because it is a stain. I think that color goes better. Yeah. 
So that's what that looks like. Thank you, Sandy. And I don't probably need it, but I like the gloss. I need just this, just clear gloss. Just to give it a little shine. It's got a little bit of shine to it already. I just like gloss. I'm just a gloss person. I hope my feet hasn't froze up. I know the hub said I was having difficulties earlier. He tries to sit and watch and help me if there's any problems. He said, there's the look on that. Win Wednesday Wonder Eyes. And once again, I'm going to close it out with Telling you all my products can be found on my website at www.myglamclan.com. My name is Ginger, and all my products can be found on that site. If you have any questions, please just send me a message. Oh, poor Carissa. <laughs> um, if you're interested in throwing a party or have questions about joining my team, let me know. Send me a message. I answer all my messages, so, and I'm... I haven't had any time where I've went longer than a few hours of answering somebody back. Uh, right now, we're still having our great special on our presenter's kit. And I think tomorrow I'm going to write a list so I can read out all the products. The presenter's kit comes in a big purple bag like this. You see the size of that compared to me? There's my head. There's the bag. And it comes loaded with, with products. And I will say that the, the bag this month is the best one I have seen to date. And for $99, you can get the kit and become a presenter, or you can get the kit as what they call a kit napper and buy it for yourself just for the product value. Because you're, for the $99, there's gonna be, I added it up to make sure it was 100% accurate before I said it. So tonight I will say it, they're, the products that come in this month's kit to the end of this month, are $360 worth of product. Plus you also get um, some samples and stuff with the catalog. But as far as full size product, you're getting $360 worth of product for $99. And um, also if, if you sign up this month, they're given um, what they're calling a bonus not a bonus, sorry. I keep saying bonus. Booster pack for $99. And um, tomorrow I'll have the information on that. But if you go to uh, www.myglamclan.com and you click on join, that's not going to make you join, but then that'll take you to another page and you can go to uh, presenter's kit and it'll give you a complete list of all the items. And then... Um, you can also find out more about the boost the booster pack. If you don't know where to find it or can't find it, message me and I'll get you that information. Um it was it was oh your laptop. Right? Is that what you're talking about? So yeah, if um you want to look at any of the products, again, they're at www.myglamplan.com. If you want to join, you're not sure, you have questions or anything like that before you do, send me a message and I'll get right back with you if you have any questions about any products or anything. Um, that's what I'm here for. So, I hope everybody has a wonderful Wednesday and I'll see everybody tomorrow for probably Try By Thursday. So, peace out, share. everybody. Please share my video. It helps me out a great deal. Share it with Have your a family, great night. With your friends, with your neighbors, and with your dog. Share with your